the white hour. White, the color of milk or fresh snow, due to the reflection of all visible rays of light. White light, white heat. Aspri ora, leur blanc. Leur bleu, between darkness and day, between the night of a soul and its redemption, an hour associated with pure hovering. Novelties and clothes shops with careful vitrines do steady business on ground floors. Secret operations are held in their basements and lofts. What's up there? The office. What are these? Samples. And these? Catalogues. Whose is that name? Your granddad's. Who are these people? Classiers. What's down there? The new office. For what? The agency. What's this? A fax machine. When are we going home? Soon. The quarter's flagship stationary comp bookshop is known to satisfy all your reading needs. Except, they may not have heard of the book you're looking for. Ask at the old man's place up the street. Radio waves indifferent to land partitions. The exhilaration of deriving place names out of daily broadcasts of messages to the encaged, those who simply stayed behind, without maps or atlases, or an exhaustive inventory of villages through roads of the mind. Grandads remembered year-round working travels to fairs, lessons in ways of making. The family running the coffee shop have pink faces and arms, permanently boiling, except for the eldest son, who was out when the stove exploded, kicking his ball against the wall of the school for girls. A cloth lay on the street, a jumper, crumpled and sooty black. Someone said it belonged to the father. It seemed too small to be his. In the street's collective mind, the coffee was left to boil too long. Straight, sketos. Moderate, metrios. Sweet, glikis. Extra sweet, varis glikis. Translations are as clunky as the old stove. The mother wept, bemoaned her luck skin dripping from her face. For weeks the sight remained untouched. Then they returned. They cleared up and fixed the shop and started serving again. Their new skins set, features spelling sorrow. Live yogurt and salt on top at mid-morning, the street's men gather for refreshment and news talk. Write the word, Irani, Iran. Write it, damn it. When you cross the border, you reach into time. You sit on unraveling straw chairs get served out of disc-shaped trays swung around on threadbare canvas or leather belts, slurp mahallebi, muhallebi, quaff a glass of rose concentrate and milk. You go into novelty shops and talk with trilingual men. You see modern stone homes. When you cross the border, you give up your passport. You come upon a mirror image 
of Odos Muson. Muses walk. When you cross the border, you are forced into a leap, and the shock of it chills you. Like all chills, it burns, sore, like a cold, an icy fever. This is news that will stay old.